Hi there and welcome to a quick tutorial on how to use Layer Mask in Photoshop instead of the Eraser tool. This is a tutorial that should be handy for people who are fairly new to Photoshop. Um, if you want to take away parts of an image, you probably go to the Eraser tool. I think that after watching this you'll uh, probably only use Layer Mask, so let's get into it quickly. Um, I've just opened up a photo of a puppy, because who doesn't want to use a cute puppy photo when you're doing a tutorial, right? And so I've just opened that in Photoshop. You can see that it has imported as my background. It's locked. I'm going to unlock that so we can use layer mask. So that's just a double click on the layer. We'll call it puppy. OK. And it is unlocked. So now that it is unlocked, I can go down and select layer mask. That is this little button at the bottom here. It's a square with a white circle inside. If you click that, it will apply that to your layer. And there it is right there, that's the layer mask. Now you have to make sure, side note, make sure that you've selected layer mask before you do anything we're about to do because you don't want to be drawing on your image, you want to be drawing on the layer mask. So essentially, how the layer mask works, I'm going to just make sure I have black selected. If you paint or put anything in black, so I've got pencil tool here, on top of your image or on top of the layer mask which is linked to your image, it will erase that portion of the image. And you can see in the thumbnail that that is painted black, but in here, it's just erased the image. What's great about layer mask is you can undo everything you do just by painting it back in, in white. And there it comes. So it's not really erased, it's just hiding that area of your image. Uh, you can also use uh, the brush tool if you want a bit more control over uh, flow. Let's uh, select black here. Uh, you know, if you want a little bit more control over flow or your edges. Um, you can also select different shades of gray if you don't want to do a complete erase. If you just want it to, you know, erase a portion of it. Uh, you can do that. And uh, once again, by selecting white, everything you do can be put back just like you haven't done any erasing at all. Um, even the uh, shapes tool here, you can select a shape and fill that with black to erase it or, you know, fill it back in with white to put it back. It's going to command D to deselect that now. So that's a quick look at the layer tool uh, if you want to, uh, or sorry, the um, layer mask. If you want to disable it in an image, you just right click and hit disable. You can also re-enable it. Or, if you want it gone, you can delete it. There it goes. So I uh, hope this will be uh, useful for you if you're fairly new to Photoshop. Avoid that eraser tool. Always use a layer mask and just paint it black, and then you can always paint it back. Thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful.